Hi, welcome back. We are here with our final guest of the show today, John White. He is the founder of Waves for All. Welcome to the show, John. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you here. Of course, we know Waves because we're here in Southern California. Absolutely. But Waves for All, tell me about Waves for All. So just like you mentioned, here in Southern California, part of that culture and identity is, is that of being identifying as a surfer. Uh, what we noticed, uh, some of my fellow watermen here in North County, um, was that there was a, a gap for individuals with special needs or mm. with disabilities, whether it's cognitive or physical, uh, to get more time in the water, to okay. really identify as a surfer, as okay. Southern California surfer. So sure. we created Waves for All to provide a, a, a chance for those individuals to get more time in the water every month we surf. And so they're able to practice their skills and, and actually progress. It's oh. not as much of a, a novelty surf as it, this is their identity and they really need to get in the water. And so we've reached out to the community and we have some of the greatest surfers in the world here in Southern California. Yeah. And we have some of the greatest surfers who volunteer at Waves for All. And oh, it's been wow. a beautiful thing. Uh, I tell people it's like the field of dreams. We oh. show up with some surfboards and some good friends. And the next thing you know, we got 15 to 20 adaptive surfers who are showing up all at different levels. It could be 15 different scenarios. Uh, but that's the idea behind adaptive surfing is, is really modifying the equipment or the techniques or the teamwork to make it safe, mm -hmm. to make sure everybody is stoked uh, and wanting to come back again, you know, month so after month. So there's some instances where you actually modify the equipment Absolutely, for Absolutely, we yeah. do. Uh, for certain individuals, uh, potentially with like cerebral palsy, um, people with spinal cord injuries who might have an issue with being in a prone position. We've developed uh, chairs to help them sit up on the surfboards. Wow. Uh, things like wedges to lift your chest, to help your neck, um, steering devices for individuals uh, who again are maybe paralyzed or, or have a condition to where they, they need a modification to the board um, and with that they're able to surf just as if you and me were going out in the water and that, that joy, that experience yeah. of riding a wave, big or small, it doesn't matter. Sure, yeah. um, it, it's a very joyful experience and we want to continue that. We want to reinforce it month after month so that a surfer could go home and instead of saying, you know, oh, I have a disability, maybe the first thing they think about is, I'm a surfer. That's right, yeah. that's right. How do you identify, how do you find the individuals, of course, coming to shows mm -hmm. like this Absolutely. so that people can know, but how, aside from that, how do you find individuals who are a good fit for this? Well, with Waves for All, uh, and again, being here in Southern California, we volunteer with a lot of other adaptive surf communities. So okay. uh, there's Surfers Healing, there's Stoked for Life, there's Challenged Athletes Foundation, ah. Junior Seau Foundation, there's the Blind Surfers Foundation, there's the Surf Education Academy. There's all these avenues out there to really get people entry level in, to bring them in, kind of break down the glass barrier between surfing and the disability. Mm -hmm. uh, then once they're there, and maybe we've met them there, you know, one of the guys, he was the last one out of the water at the uh, at the ISA um, World Championships and at the clinic. And so I approached him and said, hey, Ty, if you're this serious about surfing, then you need to come to our events because we want to ah. progress you. We want to get you from the clinic stage to the idea that for, for some individuals, real dreams of representing USA, or representing their country in the Olympics one day, uh, or even just at the International Surf Association level, um, there are competitions, it is growing, and there's ways to get out there and volunteer meet people and then introduce them to Waves for All so they can keep it going. Oh, that's good, that's yeah. good. So how can how can we help? How can the community get behind you all and, and help? Well, either as a surfer or as a volunteer. I mean, volunteer levels are everything from helping us get on life jackets to working with individuals with the wetsuits, transferring from wheelchairs down to the beach. We've worked with students uh, from the University of San Diego uh, State mm -hmm. and from UCSD, helping to develop tools and devices ah, to help us in and yeah, out of the water. Yeah. Uh, Safety is our number one concern. Obviously, we want the parents to know that safety is very important to us, uh, but we even have adaptive surfers who then come back and volunteer. Oh. And so we're really able, for us, it's about an identity. It's about really being able to say, I'm a surfer, and surfers gotta surf. Yeah. They gotta get in the they water. Gotta. <laughs> they gotta get the reps in. You gotta see the waves. You gotta experience the cold. You gotta taste the salt water. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't get to do that, it can lead us down a, a road to where, you know, we don't have that Start identity. Lose that identity. Absolutely. Yeah, With that identity, the, the health benefits, the morale benefits, it, it's just amazing what surfing can do for somebody and just the ocean in general. You phenomenal, know? phenomenal. Yeah. What great work you're doing. Thank you. All right. So, of course, if people are interested, they can visit your website. I'm Absolutely. Sure, yeah. Wavesforall.com. Uh, I'm sorry. Wavesforall.org.com right. will direct you. Uh, we work with a group called Clear Blue Conservation. We even do beach cleanup. So we'll have oh. autistic adults, children. Uh, we have guys in wheelchairs. We're going around. We're picking up the beach. We're cleaning it up. We want people to see how important the ocean is to us 
and to see how powerful it is for certain individuals, we're hoping the rest of the community is going to get on board and say, hey, you know what? We really need to take care of this thing, you yeah. know, right here to our west. And uh, it's just a beautiful thing what it, it is. does. It yeah. is. What a beautiful thing you are doing. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much Thanks for coming for on me. and sharing. Thank you for everything you're doing. We certainly appreciate, appreciate it. it. Going to do well for Southern California. Thank you. Yeah, we invite you out. We'd love oh. to have you out there. We'll get you in a suit. We'll get you in the water. Okay. I'll have to try. <laughs> I'll get at the back of the line. <laughs> well, our, our next session, I believe, is going to be uh, from this air date. So we'll have May 27th. Okay. But we're always the last Sunday of the month. It's okay. on the calendar. Perfect, you know. We don't miss it, and uh, you can you can do it, and you can use it, and you can set it up on there and there say, right. "Hey, I'm going to Waves for there All every go. month." There yeah. we have it. Last Sunday of the month. Thank you so much.